previously on the last time that I raced with Matt Malone. That's me right there. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, man, I can tell he's actually sorry, so it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be my last video from the Nordish Life. We're starting directly ahead of Matt Malone in P8, and we're going to do our best not to repeat what you guys just saw on his, uh, that was the first day of his, uh, subathon stream. He's been streaming for like 12 days straight. So off the bat, Matt gets a really good start going around the outside of 22 ahead of us. We stay on the inside of turn one. You see 22 going very deep there. Uh, we have a couple of new guys on our left side. So two more guys, number seven and number six, both looking to get around us. We take a super wide line and both of them get the position done. So down now into P, uh, what is that? Three positions down from eight. So I'm going to say that that is P11. We have car number 11 at the same time on our outside. He's going, kind of going to get stuck by a uh, number eight on the inside, but this car number eight, he's going to be a player in this race and this guy was so generous uh, he backs out lets 11 through and we'll see some more of that from him matt now directly ahead of us a few cars ahead 22 is rejoining the track he went deep that slows everybody down including eventually us as it kind of trickles backwards we lift off a bit there just to be cautious 11 up the inside of us we're just going to let that go through so we're down into p12 now and um i mean yeah it, it, not a fantastic start uh as per usual but we are alive and that was my i mean this week, man, it has torn me to shreds. So I just want to finish a race cleanly of a uh, Norwich life. It would be absolutely amazing. Riding P12, following 11. And by the time we come through the super fast left-hander that leads into the very fast right-hander, we're going to close up that gap quite a bit, especially in the braking zone, getting right behind him. There's somebody off of the track up ahead of us. So we will gain that position moving up into P11 now behind car 11. Always a welcome sight to see somebody off of the track and just pick up a free position. Coming through... I Gosh, I'm gonna guess this is corner 20 or corner, yeah, 22. I'm gonna say this is corner 22. Coming through here, Matt Malone up ahead of us gets a bit loose and slides into the wall. We pick up that position, so that'll put us into P10 now. My math is failing me. Up into P10, car 11 ahead of us, car 22 ahead of him, and there's a gap forming ahead of car number 22. So I feel like this may be one of those uh, times that somebody gets a really good launch and then starts to hold people back. Car number 11, beginning to make a move onto 22, getting right up next to him, and he's going to place his car on the right side of him for the super fast left-hander at the end of the middle straight. We're trying to decide who to follow through. It's going to be car number 22 as 11 gets kind of pushed wide. He's going to start flashing his lights a little bit, and we will pick up that position heading towards the carousel. We've got a couple more corners until we get to that point. Really important to carry a lot of speed through here. However, on cold tires, first lap, me and the guy behind me both doing a tandem drift. It's going to cause a ton of mayhem. 19, almost making it through. 13, getting loose and taking him out at the last second. Almost a separate incident there. We survived and managed to hold the lead of this group. So, uh, car number eight, Miguel, he gets kind of hung out to dry there, put on the outside of the carousel. So, he loses that position to the car behind me, who I'm not sure uh, who that guy is, but... We now have a ton of clean air ahead of us. Uh, this guy is kind of, I mean, he's definitely on our tail, but I'm honestly not too worried about that. I'm just worried about catching the cars ahead of us. So skip forward to, this is basically the end of the lap. We are about to come onto the Dottinger, just um, trying to maintain our speed. We've got this guy still behind us, so we know that there's a large possibility that he gets past us on the Dottinger. And if that's the case, that's the case. Maybe we can just chase him down. Uh, 22 up ahead who kind of ran away with it gets loose going on to the dotting or ends up sliding into the wall at probably the worst time on the track he loses all of his speed down the very long straight and here uh, I come and the car behind me we're going to start to gain on 22 you can see him just up there ahead however we also have car number five who's soaking up our slipstream all of the way down and he is going to eventually get that done as he builds uh, enough momentum to sling past us we lift off, really don't want to slow him down at all. I want both of us to move through here as fast as we can, and it seems like we're going to get that done pretty well. We closed quite a bit of time to 22. I'd say he's probably two and a half seconds, uh, maybe three seconds up the road from me now, and I am right behind five, so I will have car number five slipstream, which was uh, 
very nice very nice to have through the gp circuit car number eight has begun to close up on us as well this guy is not a slow driver uh but as i said he um i trust him he's a very patient and generous driver he is somebody who is fun to drive with you can have clean battles with and uh i feel like it's going to be difficult to get into an accident with him um unless it was my fault if i'm being honest uh, maybe perhaps that's foreshadowing who knows now that i've mentioned it's foreshadowing it's like is he reverse psychology geeing the foreshadowing or is that actual foreshadowing i don't know foreshadowing jesus i don't know uh car number 22 gets a terrible run through that first sector of the norwich life and five is going to be right up on his tail as 22 basically missed the apex completely of that last corner fluke platz actually gave us a pretty uh, gave us the uh benefit there as we catch back up to these guys down the straight after fluke plat so we're kind of on his tail this is my favorite part of the track currently and 22 is really beginning to uh, hold everybody up through this part of the track i think this is where it became prominent car number eight just sitting behind us and man i i just can't give this guy enough flowers for uh not just this race i've raced with him many times this week and it was always a very clean and respectful race between the two of us we we raced very close for a lot of laps and really never had any type of incident slowing down for each other uh 22 massively slowing down car number five and by virtue slowing down me i almost look for a move up the inside here almost involuntarily honestly as five really slows down uh perhaps by virtue of 22 it does look like he has slowed down quite a bit and this group is really getting backed up at the moment uh there are cars behind us that I'm really trying to run away from as an entire group. I, I would like to be in as small of a group as possible, preferably two cars uh, that are at pace and we're just able to push each other down the Dottinger and have a race like that. It doesn't seem like that's gonna be the case right now. Car number five, looking for a move around 22 as we head into the very fast right-hander that will lead onto the middle uh, straight. And we have to choose who to follow through, but before we get that far, um, just a reminder that the like and bell button and the subscription button are down there, but I would like to earn it like a man, so uh, I offer you a wager. So my girlfriend is gonna kick the octopus into that pink bucket. If she makes it in that pink bucket, you have to like and subscribe. If she makes it into that white bucket, then you have to comment your deepest, darkest, secret uh in the comment section because the only thing better than a subscription is intellectual uh leverage basically blackmail so let's get started <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna give it a go same deal <laughs> Not gonna lie, I feel like I'm gonna make it really soon. I, I played soccer. I'm like so confident in my kicking abilities. Okay, so we are going to follow car number five through, end up making very slight, uh, I think it was honestly net code contact with car number 22, who proceeds to flash us as we follow him through and he kind of tries to cut down on us a little bit, but um, I mean, I feel like that was just about as clean of a move as I could have made there. This will put us into P9, and we have some time down this straight to kind of soak up the slipstream of car number five. And I, I honestly, I think I make a mistake here. I'm trying to decide what to do, and I do probably the worst thing I could have. I push him, kill my own speed, give him speed, and then I move to the left where 22 was coming up. So he moves to the inside, and he has uh, the run on me as he's been using my slipstream. On top of the fact that I killed my run by bumping, I take way too much of that curb, end up almost going side by side with car number eight, but he uh, settles back. So back into P10 as I totally just uh, dropped that position. Picked it up and then put it right back on the floor. Didn't want to eat that. It had hair on it, I guess. I'm more of a P10 type of guy. And we are now following car number 22 once again to the carousel. Car number 5 up ahead and 22 in between. And I'm kind of worried about this because I feel like car number 5 now has the opportunity to run away and separate himself from car number 22 which will i mean really end up separating him from me 22 getting a rough run through the second carousel as we head on to the final little couple of corners before the dottinger and we're going to do as much as we can here keeping our speed high dipping out wide cutting in lifting and getting onto the throttle earlier than i normally would to really focus on a late apex there and uh, i mean well it's called a, I, I say late apex but it doesn't really i mean it's not really much of an apex you don't hit that per se so we have a very good run moving to the left side of car number 22 who had a pretty poor run through that last sector overall but we basically just end up going side by side with him until car number eight my savior is going to decide to push me through 
I'm assuming he doesn't want to follow car number 22. I, I think we both knew car 22 was down on the pace slightly. And he's going to end up making slight contact with us, getting our car a little bit unsettled. This is my view of that. Totally fucking terrified me. Managed to still get the car slowed down. He's going to be flashing us all of the way. Didn't need that distraction at that moment. I was struggling enough with the car. But we do get that position. So back up into P9 as we cross onto the final lap. And I'm going to take a defensive line here. I know 22 is he's hungry for these positions. So I'm going to defend t1 pulling over pretty far to the right there was room if he wanted to go up the inside but he decides not to pulls all the way wide eight almost runs into him ends up uh, uh going really deep there and we go pretty deep as well barely managing to meet that apex this guy ahead of us now i think he must have damage he's beginning to fall backwards uh through the group and i mean we come out of there successfully still in p9 so uh defended corner one Although not well, I mean, we definitely went way too deep through corner one, but we still defended it. Looking ahead, you can see that car number five has begun to pull away quite a bit. We have this new guy ahead of us. I'm not sure who he is, but he is falling backwards through the group. And it's not going to be too long until we are on his tail heading into the very fast left hander which is currently my favorite corner on the track especially this little section right after it getting i use fourth gear here this is car number six so i assume he, he might have damage uh, he goes pretty deep through there his car is swinging to the right swinging to the left a lot of weight being thrown around that tells me he probably has some type of steering damage taking a lot of that curb as well unsettling his car a little bit and then he ends up eventually going pretty deep through there slowing down quite a bit almost looking to go up the inside here very very fast corner you can definitely make it work up the inside there but i opt not to do it on this occasion backing out and following him through realizing that i definitely need to get around him but that i mean the opportunity will probably open itself up and short enough he is going to completely just kind of not break there rejoin the track and actually rejoin right in front of the spam flashing car number 22 who <laughs> gets rear-ended by number eight but honestly i think i think 22 may have had room to go through there i'm not sure either way it's going to hold all of them back and we are able to kind of just drive the rest of our race as the rest of our race this guy car number six still remaining in front of car number 22 and that is by virtue kind of holding car number eight back car number 22 ends up going way too much curb unsettles the car and throws himself off of the track he does uh, manage to keep it from the wall which is nice but car number eight will get through by virtue of that which i was kind of cheering in my relative I, I i really wanted this guy to get through and finish for a good result and i mean then this guy goes off the track ahead of him so car number eight is going to pick up that position as well and once again i am clapping inside of my car or inside of my sim you can't see it right now because the hands that you're seeing are from this from the uh the game and not my actual hands we managed to pull some time towards p i think that's p7 ahead of us so almost catching him but i mean maybe if we had one more lap we could have uh given him a battle down the dottinger but on this occasion crossing the line in p8 and uh, a lot of up and down there pretty happy with how that one went and i mean especially compared to my other norge life races we do gain 32 i rating gain some safety rating as well finishing p8 not gonna lie i'm feeling pretty exposed right now as i struggled quite a bit on this track i have a lot of uh, practice to put in on this track and that's something that i'm just gonna have to do before this track comes back up for now guys thank you guys so much for watching feel free to check out my channel some of my other videos if you enjoyed this one i'm willing to bet that you'll enjoy those as well.